Well, I've recently taken on the lead for the National Police Chiefs Council for heritage and cultural property crime. Um, uh, taking over from Chief Constable Andy Bliss in Hertfordshire, who's done a fantastic job over a number of years concentrating on that portfolio. Uh, and I'm really excited to take on such an interesting uh, subject area that looks at crimes not just committed in the UK but, but internationally as well. And working together with the range of partners who've done so much on this subject uh, in the past. Well, the top priorities for the work that we're going to conduct in this area are driven by the strategic assessment that's just been completed uh, and updated uh, to reflect the work that's been done over the last couple of years. Uh, so very much a uh, market-driven approach, focusing on enforcement, but very much taken forward by really strong partnerships with the other agencies involved. Well, the scale of this problem is, is quite significant and is, is varied. So we see attacks on the historic environment, so the fabric, the infrastructure of our cultural heritage, whether that's churches or other buildings, and we see uh, attacks on those with people perhaps stealing the lead from the roofs or other uh, artefacts from the actual premises themselves, which is a really devastating impact on communities. But then there is also the crimes that are committed against um, historic items themselves, artefacts, things from museums, and we've seen organised crime groups targeting specific types of materials contained in museums, museums up and down the country. And so uh, the way that crimes are perpetrated in this area are, are pretty varied, and we need to be able to respond to each of those. The, the penalties have increased significantly. A major step forward was the removal of cash from those transactions, which enabled us to track more easily those people are involved in it. But we have seen some people who are working at ways to get around that legislation, particularly in terms of cash transactions. And so over the past week, we've been combining our efforts on uh, metal theft and on heritage crime, linking up the new network of heritage crime um, liaison officers that have been established throughout police forces to uh, look at scrap metal dealers and look at the outlets for this type of material and make it clear that um, we take this very seriously and we're going to use the full weight of the law against people who uh, commit these crimes.